Hey everybody and welcome back, Leo Pozzo TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we are continuing to work on the 60 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. This is a custom build that I'm building here at my home for a client of mine. This tank's gonna measure 24 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches. We're using half inch glass. It's going to be plumbed up into a sump filtration system. I'm going to have to drill the back wall of the aquarium, the back glass on the top left hand corner, two holes for one hole for the drain and one hole for the return. Right now we're at the process of injecting the silicone into the gaps that we created with our toothpicks here. We got wood toothpicks and we put them in between the glass panels consistently and basically have it all clamped down nice and square and exactly where we want them to be. The gaps all align to where we want them. We're moving forward, there's a few tips and tricks that I wanna show you guys. Uh, to help us inject the silicone into the gap uh, that we left, okay? So the game plan is, is to get aquarium safe silicone, okay? So I wanted to point out some of the, the, the pointers that they wrote here on the, the silicone. This, this is made by Aquion and it's 100% silicone aquarium sealant. I just wanna read here on the front uh, what it says and what the company wanted to point out. It says permanently flexible, does not crack or shrink, waterproof, seal, stops, leaks, same strength silicone used to manufacture new aquariums, non-toxic for use on freshwater and saltwater aquariums, long lasting bond is easy to apply, 10 ounce container ready to go into my caulking gun. Game plan, here's my knife, here's my bottle. Um, I'm not sure if you guys cut a caulking tube before, it's not a science project. Just cut it on a slight angle. I got my utility knife here that's kind of rusted out a bit. So, let's see. I'm going to cut mine. So I got my silicone tube cut, okay? My next thing I'm going to do is get my pliers and I'm just going to simply the same angle that it's cut on, I'm just going to squeeze it together. So basically I want it to be narrow. So I'm just going to get my pliers. I'm not going to, I don't need to pinch all the way back here. I just need the tip to be on that angle there. I'll give you guys a close up shortly. So game plan is to load up the silicone into the talking gun. Boom, I got it. I'm going to position it on an angle like that because that's the way I like it. We forgot to get our this little rod here that we have on the side of our caulking gun and basically put that inside the silicone tube to basically crack the seal. That's what I forgot to do, crack the seal. So you just want to push it in there, yep, it feels like there's silicone on that so that means that I crack the seal. Put this bad boy back in. We'll squeeze this again just to make sure that it's the way we like it. As you can see here, this is the uh, silicone tube and how I cut it on a 45. You can also observe here how I squeeze the, uh, the tip of the tube with my pliers so it can basically help be a little bit easier for me to inject the silicone into that uh, toothpick gap. All right guys, now we're at the next step. Maybe I should move this table. Oh, okay, never mind. Step. Before we start siliconing, we have our caulking gun ready to go. We need paper towel. We need a garbage bag to put the paper towel that we use in. We're going to probably lay out another towel here on the ground like a drop cloth type of thing in case we get some silicone on the ground. 
game plan. Trick number whatever you want to call it, 101. This is the game plan. So to prevent, so to prevent less, uh, sorry, to prevent, what are we preventing? Maybe I need just a friggin' air vent because I'm friggin' sweating in here, bro. Must be these paw lights, bro. Are these the LEDs or no? Oh, no, these are the halogens. Oh, my God, no wonder, bro. I can just heat my house with these friggin' halogens. I can't be working that hard, am I? Oh, okay, never mind the BS. Now we're ready to... Bro, what are we ready for? Ready to party. All right, guys, now we're ready for the next step, which what we're gonna do is before we start siliconing, I'm gonna put four pieces of tape on the tank and I'm gonna show you where and why. Tape number one, and they're all going pretty much in the same location. We do one to one corner, they're doing all to the rest of the corner. We're gonna put a piece of tape like so on this gap right here, the gap where we can fit in our toothpick. This gap right here that goes all the way down, we're gonna basically cover that with a piece of tape from top to bottom. And I'll tell you why. Because when we're in here injecting the silicone, it's going to wanna go where? It's gonna to wanna to come out to this side. And in the end, what's gonna happen with that? Once it dries, we're gonna to have to cut it out. Or you might touch it while it's not dry and then start smudging and make a little bit of a mess. But if you put this tape and you don't allow the silicone to escape, then once I started rhyming, then I started got I got off track, man. I thought I was doing a rap. Like is this a rap right now? Am I rapping? Once I put the tape, the silicone won't escape, and then therefore. I'm going to waste less silicone. Um, it's not going to escape and just kind of gush out because that's basically what I'm doing. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on the caulking uh, trigger because I'm kind of, I'm, I for, I'm forcing the silicone through that narrow, that narrow tip that I made, right? This hole is actually pretty big, but I only made a tiny hole and I got to squeeze it enough that it penetrates, it actually injects into the gap that we left with our toothpick here, right? So I know from my past experience that if I were to put a tape here like I want to, or like I'm going to, when I inject the silicone, it won't escape. And therefore I'll have less, less stuff to clean when it comes down to it. You know what I mean? Left step, less stuff to clean. You know what I mean? Put the green tape so the silicone won't escape. All right, gang gang, you know what it is? Leo Potts, we put the piece of tape right there. So when we inject it, this is tip 102. So when we inject it, it won't escape. And then when we're, as we're injecting the silicone, we're looking from the side here and we're looking for air pockets. And I'm gonna show you that when we're doing it. So you're basically squeezing um, and you're watching at the same time. You can't just be squeezing with your eyes closed. You gotta watch and know what you're doing. So we're gonna show you that, or I'm gonna show you that either in this video or the upcoming video. So like I said earlier, Go ahead and subscribe right now. I don't know what I'm doing down here, looking at you guys all the way up there, but this is where I'm working. I'm putting a piece of tape here, and I'm gonna go to the other three corners, and I put the tape there just the same. Now we're ready for 
silicone. Okay guys, this view right here is very important. This is where you want to be looking when you are injecting the silicone. You want to be looking from this angle from the outside of the aquarium to make sure that you are not leaving any air pockets in between the glass panels where you are injecting the silicone. Another thing that I wanted to point out to you, you'll notice that once I am done injecting the silicone, I'll wipe the silicone with my finger, the bead that I'm working on. Once I'm done working with that bead or around that bead of silicone in that section of the tank, I suggest removing the masking painter's tape because what's going to happen is if you don't, the silicone is going to start to dry and then it will start bonding to the tape. And then from there, when you comes time to remove your tape, it's going to uh, peel back the silicone or not really give you a nice uh, straight edge that you're looking for. So guys, once you're done injecting the silicone, give it a wipe, remove the tape, and you're done. Don't touch it again. All right, guys. Well, that looks like a wrap for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys learned something along the way. I know some of you guys want to speed up the process of this tank build, but I like to break up the videos. So definitely stay tuned and uh, reference back to any of my past videos if you need. Um, all in all, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next Sunday with my next video. Till next time.